Hi, my name is Dan Reeses, and I invented a couple of things that are really amazing. But it's 2022, so I pretty much grew up in a world, sorry, the military meal is not really sitting very well with me. I pretty much grew up in a world where I saw what happens to people once they become rich and famous. And I spent the last 20 years making sure that I avoid that like the plague. Now, one thing I want to remind everyone that we live in a society where there are systems that are in place. And when you're really good at a certain system, for example, if you're really good at basketball, you become LeBron James. And you're really good at politics, you could be the president. Or if you're really good at art or cinema, you could become a famous director. That is not who I am. I am Dan Rhesus. I'm an absolute nobody. I'm the best in the world at game theory and applied mathematics. And what I wanted to do last summer was to show everyone what is the power of one human being. And one human being is limited to what they can do in a world where millions of people have to come together to do something. For example, let me very quickly explain to you something about mathematics. You see, 100 is a number. And 1,000 is a number that's bigger. And then we keep going. Now, somewhere right around here, and we keep going and going. Somewhere right around here, if you're able to affect 1,000 individuals and have them all respond in a certain way, you will get enough money and enough fame in order for you to pretty much not do anything for a very long time. Up until there is a paradox that it's found somewhere. And if you're watching this and you're a famous YouTube person, well, then you somehow hit an algorithm right over here. And then you went back to being a normal person. So you're constantly being required to do something that you cannot do. Why? Because YouTube allows for human beings to be famous just for being humans. There is no system. There are people that do a certain thing and they have their own audience. And you see, that's why I love the U.S. government. Because the U.S. government has to protect so many people and they have to protect you, an individual. And that is a mathematical problem. Because how do you do good for one person and do good for so many people at the same time? Now, for me... I love where I live and I love what I do, but unfortunately I've been a victim slash I don't believe in vic the word victim, so I will say that I brought it upon myself. Now, a bunch of stuff happened to me that if it happened to anyone else, they probably would not be able to function. But for me, I'm really enjoying it because I get a chance to really teach everybody exactly what happens when you make a mistake. Now. I started a website because I, Dan Rhesus, invented something unbelievable. In the next couple of months, eventually, I'll stop talking about all the people around my little circle that have tried to suppress my message and try to hurt me. Oh, there's somebody here, but I'm not going to get it. I'm going to continue this. Sir, can you please get the door? Can't tell you who it is because I got some special guests. Now, what I want to remind everyone that any human being who has a conflict, for example... Kanye West is consistently in the news for having conflicts with various other celebrities. People love to read about it. I believe that Kanye West is a very good guy. I believe that he is a victim of the system that is around him that uses him continuously. For me, personally, I created a website. It's called harrispalmer.com. It's just a website. Now, who is Harris Palmer? Harris Palmer is a human being who I met when I was 17 years old and he was 23 years old. He's six years older than me, about that. Maybe I was 16. And Harris drove a really cool Jeep and Harris worked out a lot and Harris sold weed and Harris was in business school. And I really thought he was a cool guy. So when you meet me and you see a personality, all that is is an inspiration from a young Harris Palmer. Now Harris Palmer, actually is a human being who needed my help and I helped him out and he hurt me. Now, I text Harris all the time. He texts me back. But publicly, what this person will do will say nothing but negative things about me. And that is the whole point, is that I needed to find one fake artist. One. You see, Harris Palmer currently runs one of the pawn shops that I started on Route 10. 
And the reason why he does this is because he went on from fooling his wife to fooling me to fooling his current boss, whose name is Tommy. Now, Tommy is a very good guy. He's not a bad guy. He's actually a really normal, regular guy who just walked in on Harris. And Tommy, unfortunately, was hurt by Harris so much that all of the things that Harris has done hasn't even come out yet. So, for example, what Harris has done is he's thrown Tommy under the bus on a number of occasions over and over and over again, including the depositions, which I'm going to have to show eventually. But the reality is that when I met Harris, we were in the back of something called the Verona Inn. It's a bar, and I haven't seen Harris in about 20 years. And Harris needed a job, and he told me, hey, I'm going to skip it forward. My wife is pregnant with twins. Can you help me out? I will never hurt you. Well, guess what? Now we're here, and what happened? Now Harris, I'm inviting Harris to stand right over here, and he'll never stand here. Because the reality is that Harris's entire claim is that I owe Harris money. This is not true. There's a corporation that I worked for which missed one paycheck after Harris spent an entire year defrauding a company and setting himself up in a position to steal a brand, proprietary knowledge, as well as as many customers as he possibly could. As a matter of fact, one of my former employees, Jason Michelle, who used to work for me, ended up going to Harris. All of my former employees communicate with this man, Harris Palmer, because what he is is a fake artist. You see, Harris met me and he said, huh, if Daniel is able to make all this money by doing so little, well, I could just take what he has and copy it. Unfortunately, I'm Dan Rhesus, and Harris did exactly what I knew he would do. And anybody who knows Harris knows that he's just an animal. Not in a bad way, it's just you could calculate him. He likes guns. He is someone who will say nothing but negative things about me. I have nothing but positive things to say about him. And remember, what I'm saying is just fact-based. Nothing more, nothing more. These are just facts. Harris needed a job. I believe he was driving an Uber when I met him. He was a normal person. He came to me and I needed a manager for one of my locations. But I told him, I said, Harris, all you have to do is not screw me. <laughs> I couldn't do it. You see, when Tommy came along, Harris realized that his wife was on the way out because she's a really intelligent, smart girl and nobody that could be with Harris can actually be with him for a long period of time because after a couple of days, you realize that it's a very, um, how do I say, shallow well. But Harris, you see, the entire point of this whole thing is that there's a law called the cyber squatting law, which I'm telling you right now. So for example, I will never make a single penny using Harris Palmer. I'm not trying to do anything. All I'm trying to do is make an example of the word Harris Palmer. And you never want to be a Harris Palmer because you never want to be someone who pretends to be a friend, to pretends to do things. And then he actually went out of his way to be one of the instrumental organizers, him and a guy named Brian Lustig, who ended up walking into my web and filing a lawsuit. So with Brian Lustig, not even worth a URL, but Harris Palmer is because for me, Harris's inspiration. You see, when you meet Harris, you think, wow, what a normal person. Everything is great. But there's one thing that he will not tell you is that when you get down to the deepest core, <sighs> unfortunately, this man is a bully. But he doesn't bully other people. He only bullies himself. And that is the way we find ourselves in our society. We are continuously hurting ourselves. For example, Harris is a really good guy. All he had to do was a couple of things and they could have saved his relationship, both with me, his ex-wife, and maybe a bunch of other former partners that he's ever had. Because you see, Harris is a fake artist, so he needs other people in order to create the art for him to emulate. And there's a lot of us out there. We just never want to be a Harris Palmer. Not just a Harris, you got to say the full name, Harris Palmer. You never want to be a Harris Palmer because what you will do is you will trade your dignity, your self-worth, and your second chance that you were given in life 
for a little bit of money. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that is why you should check out this website, harrispalmer.com. It's not up yet. I'm still working on the other one and a bunch of other small websites. But essentially, the point of this video is that the rest of my content is not going to be in a small pond. It's going to be much more globally based. And I will be discussing a lot of things regarding the lawsuit. We have the Nagel Rice lawsuit that's coming up. Uh, that's going to be really entertaining. Uh, and essentially, yes, my mother robbed me. Yes, my own brother tried to commit me into a mental hospital. And yes, there were so many other things that I can't even get into that all happened within the last couple of months. But that is because they were designed to happen this way. You see, when you look at a human being and you give them two options, and you say to yourself, well, I know what I'm going to do if they pick one, but what am I going to do if I pick? they pick two? What I do is I calculate for all variables, and then I calculate for other ones based on those. So for you, let's say there's a binary of one and a zero. Let's say you have an answer for this and not a zero. Well, let's say it goes to zero. What happens then? Then it's a one and a zero again. And then you have an answer for one, but not... Well, this time you have an answer for zero. The point is that my abilities can go very, very deep, much farther than any computer. So mathematically, I simply was able to calculate that the same people that I hired to run the multi-tiered pawn shop known as Perfect Pawn will eventually end up stealing all the customers, the money, the inventory, and the business model and starting their own pawn shops and trying to do everything they can. And I was right. And that's exactly where we were. So right now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be finishing harrispalmer.com and filling it in with all the amazing details about myself, Harris, some of the former people that used to work at Perfect Pawn. I'm not even allowed to use the word. You see, when I shut my mother's business down, I really made sure that it wasn't going to come back because when you're not able to treat your customers fairly, kind of like what Harris does and other pawn brokers do, which I'm not happy with, you shouldn't be in the business. And the biggest pawnbroker in the business is Erwin Sablonski and Frank Valvano. They're partners. These are good men. These are smart men. These are men who inherited their business. They are men who have done the best that they could in the business without committing a crime, and yet they still find themselves in the, under the scrutiny of the law because this is a line of work that is, has perceived criminality. And when human beings like Harris Palmer and Brian Lustig start to go into the business, well, that's what ruined Pawn. That's the whole point of why I changed the brand, why I dropped Pawn, why I will never have a Department of Banking license and I want nothing to do with it. Because the people who are in the business, like Harris Palmer and Brian Lustig, who don't have an active criminal record, commit crime on a daily basis using their license from the Department of Banking. And they're totally allowed to do this because they've, only screwed the right people at the right times. And that's why harrispalmer.com is a really important website because if you're a young person who's trying to start a business, you need to learn from my mistakes. And Harris Palmer, you see, he's a wise man because he learns from his mistakes. And what I need you to be is a smart man to learn from mine and Harris's mistakes. Now, my mistakes are calculated so that you can see and it be played out in real life. And that's basically it. <sighs> Feels pretty good. I'm really glad I got that one out. You know, it's very important. And if you are Harris Palmer and you do have a website named after you, please make sure to contribute positively to it because you never want to go into a conflict with somebody like myself because you never know what I have planned. See, I only plan positive things. So I have an amazing magic trick that everyone's going to love on President's Day. I have an unbelievable movie that's coming out. And today, I just want to wrap this up with a movie called Bad Guys. Sorry. Bad Guys. And I have not seen this movie unless... There's some sort of like a magic trick where I'm able to like look at movies before they come out. I mean, who the hell am I? I am Mr. Wolf. If you watch this movie, please understand that the closest character in a movie that hasn't come out yet is Mr. Wolf to Dan Reese's. And uh, Mr. Shark, you have seen him on camera before. Mr. Snake, you will, 
you will meet in a little bit. And Piranha, you definitely will meet. And then there's Agent Fox and a bunch of other people. I don't know if they made it into the movie. I read the books to my kids. It was the first time I've ever seen anybody closely, you know, slice up a character the way they did. And Aaron Bladley, I believe his name is, uh, whatever. Anyways, go check out Bad Guys. It comes out on April 22nd. Um, or yeah, I think so. April 22nd. So harrispalmer.com, all my websites that I'm going to be launching. I need a couple of weeks to finish up. I've been really busy. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, good thing I don't have Corona or else everybody would have run out of the room. I want to remind everyone that what I do have is something called the clown virus. Um, the coronavirus is very much a real thing. I just want to remind everyone why I love YouTube, the U S government, and a bunch of other people that work for the U.S. government is because this is an amazing country. This is a country where any human being, remember, you are one individual. You are one. That's it. You are just one human being. How much one human being can do is limited. Most countries limit what you can do. I, Dan Reese, was able to save the whole country. That's 300 million people. I am not delusional. I was the CEO of a law firm which created a defense for Kyle Rittenhouse, so mathematically, I saved more people than any other human being that's currently alive, period. The actions of me and my team ended the riots because it created a counterbalance and poor, put a mirror on our society as to the ramifications of what will happen if the media disseminates nonsensical negative drivel and all of a sudden, like magic, it ended up stopping. So my name is Dan Rhesus, and I want you to very carefully pay attention to this one last sentence. Math is king. And you will see that when my magic trick comes out that I am 100% for real. I try to do the best I can to never lie on YouTube. But unfortunately, there's a lot of stuff that I just can't say right now, which will obviously make everyone pay attention and everything would make sense. I apologize that for you to understand what I'm saying, you are required to have an education level that's higher than what you currently have. And if you do understand anything that I'm saying right now and find me so obnoxious you want to vomit, then it's working. It's absolutely working. That means that the clown virus cure is slowly coming in. And uh, please, pay close attention. The best stuff is yet to come. I want to remind everyone that on President's Day, the magic trick comes out. And then on August 13th, August 13th, I go to work. For anyone that's wondering what my skill set is, I could solve any problem in the world as long as it doesn't create two problems. The problems that I've solved already is I ended the riots single-handedly. I stopped QAnon for infiltrating the U.S. government on a federal level the best that I could. I was not able to stop the capital riots. Please understand the majority of the human beings that showed up in Washington to do that riot had significant mental illness and need to be treated with appropriate care and not be treated like criminals. It is very important to understand that any human being that is willing to put their life in danger for information that is not substantiated, please remember that the information that they were getting was purely from social media, social media, from limited history. As a human being, you could only receive what your eyes, ears, and nose can smell. You can only take that much information. 90% of the people that were there were there because they were fed a spoonful of lies through psychology. And the rest of the people that never showed up to any of the other state capitals, well, that's because there was a coherent group of human beings like myself who worked their asses off to make sure you guys could watch your videos normally. Yes, there were ramifications to my actions. Yes, I destroyed my entire portfolio. And yes, I had... I have people that are breathing down my neck, including my wife, who, if anyone is married, please understand that that is the worst person to ever have coming after you. Now, I laugh and I joke and I do all these things because I do the best I can to keep it lighthearted. But when you're in a hospital bed and you're dying and you look at the doctor and you think that doctor is actually saving your life, take a step back. That doctor was educated by millions and millions of human beings who have compiled data in order to put this man or woman in a place where they have a medical degree in order to give you whatever information that will luckily save you or not. One piece of medical device, anything in that hospital, takes thousands of people to engineer. 
the whole point of what I'm doing and why I'm saying what I'm saying is I am one individual. I have one assistant. I barely have any, I have no friends. I have barely any staff and yet I am here. And that's the whole point, that you as one individual can do amazing things. But I'm not a motivational speaker. Nobody can do what I do. You are not Dan Reese's. That's the whole point. People that are motivational speakers go and speak in front of thousands of people and say they can do this. Nobody can do this. Nobody can. Unless you have an analytical mind with the ability to do mathematics and a massive set of testicles to put your entire life in jeopardy on a daily basis. Do not try any of the things that I do. You will hurt yourself. You will hurt everyone around you. My own mother robbed me. You have any idea of the mental state that I've put every single person that has come close to me? Well, the reality is once again, everything that I'm saying is true and how you perceive it, that's up to you. My name is Dan Reeses and please stay tuned. My magic trick's coming up. It's amazing.